day one starting now. Yo, what's up everybody? Today is day eight of my 30 day jump rope challenge. And you know what that means. Today, we're gonna to be sharing a seven day update to see how I've been doing in this challenge so far. So because it is day eight, I will be doing two jump sessions. Uh, the first session today will be a 10 minute session. I'll be seeing if, I've, if I have at all improved on my 10 minute jump time uh, session. So in the past, prior to this challenge, um, in a 10 minute session, I've recorded 723 jumps. Uh, today we'll see if I've improved on that. I know there has been at least one or two days this week where within a 10 minute time frame in a 30 minute session, I've beat that record. Then uh, as usual, because it's any regular day, I'll also be doing a regular 30 minute jump rope session later on in the day. All right, so I'm changed. And uh, before I jump, I always take my inhaler. It's a little bit chilly outside. Normally I start off each session wearing a sweater and then I take it off usually a minute or two within uh, the session. And then, uh, yeah, so let's go get my sweater and then uh, let's see what kind of records we could smash today. Workout complete. All right, so before we review that 10 minute session, let's do a quick recap of the last seven days. So days one through seven of the 30 day jump rope challenge. Um, a few highlights, um, one, I missed day two. Um, you know, I, I was just too tired. I did a really big workout that day and I didn't end up jumping that day. So um, ultimately I ended up making up the time. Um, secondly, I did have two very strong days. There was one day where I jumped 2,117 jumps in a 30 minute time span. And on another day, I did 1,806 jumps in a 30 minute time span. That's about 60 to 70 jumps per minute. Um, the biggest weakness of the week is not being consistent. So hopefully next week, I'll be a lot more consistent with my performance. Uh, when we look at the screenshots or at the, I guess, look at my app, you can see that the, my overall performance was all over the place. Like one day I'll do a lot of jumps while another day I won't do as many. So big key thing for next week, be a lot more consistent in performance. Um, and then another thing is that I just have to address an issue with my feet. I noticed that while I jump, I do end up getting very sore feet uh, at around the 15 minute mark. I don't really know what's causing it. I'll have to start, I should start, really start looking into it, seeing why my feet are getting so sore. I'll figure that out this week and I'll follow up on that for next week's video. And, uh, but for now, uh, one thing I've done to, I guess, help alleviate the issue is I've put a chair in the garage. Um, and in some, uh, here, here's a video of me sitting in the chair in between, like during one of my quick breaks during my session. Uh, so I sit on the chair, it helps alleviate the pressure on my feet. Um, so there's that, but again, very important to figure out what the root cause is of the pain and what I can do to, I guess, not have that issue happen as often. And then lastly, last real big update, or not a big update, but update is that I've lost 1.2 pounds over the last week. Um, that's the last thing. Again, you know, I've said it before, I don't think this challenge will make me lose a whole lot of weight, but you know, some weight is better than no weight. So 1.2 pounds lost in the last seven days, amazing. Um, but that's the recap for the week. Now let's look at today's session. <sighs> Just catching my breath out here, but a week before this challenge started, I set a 10 minute record of 723 jumps. Today, 
it's almost 100 more than that. You know, I'm so happy to see an improvement over that first number. I'll be right back. From 723 jumps up to 817 jumps. That's crazy. I did the math. That's a 13% increase. That's bonkers. Um, you know, um, I always think it's so crazy when I'm able to see myself improve. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, you know, it's a new week starting today. Um, today's day eight. And as I mentioned already, for this week, my biggest goal is to be a lot more consistent with my sessions. Hopefully this week, I'll be able to do a lot better. Um, you know, um, I'm happy that I was able to show up almost every day. Hopefully this week I won't miss a day. But, you know, showing up is half the battle. So hopefully this week I jump every day consistently. Hopefully I'll be able to resolve that foot pain issue that I mentioned earlier. And um, we'll see you guys next week um, at, for the halfway point update. So I'll be doing a day 15 video. Uh, and hopefully next time when I check in again, we'll see another improvement on my 10 minute jump mark time. So uh, thanks for tuning in today, everybody. We'll catch you all soon. Have a good one and uh, we'll see you all in a bit. Bye-bye.